next we'll have an interactive session with all the guests so we could have a few of you either sit in your places we'll pass mics around or you all could come to the stage here and we could actually have it recorded maybe that would be a better thing to do uh, if you all could come here and tell us what the experiences in your college were which courses they took what was the students response any sp uh, specific things that you'd want us to incorporate in the courses that are to come this time or the, in the future that would be really great so could we start off with somebody with that so we'll finish this and then get on to the next part of it. a very pleasant good afternoon to uh, all of you <coughs> at the outset i would like to say that the professor has given a lot of comments <coughs> uh, about the nptel so my comments are a little bit positive and uh, also how to take it forward in ptl uh, a better a better one <coughs> so i asked some of my faculty uh, how did you feel the course or how did you feel the assignments and the problems sir, can you and can you introduce yourself sir yeah i am tagaraja principal ks and sami college of technology chichungur <coughs> so i asked them sir it is little tough then i asked the question again it is little tough or little more tough <coughs> they say it is really very tough so <coughs> so what happened is at the end then i asked them very next day whether you were able to solve the assignments or the problems and they said yes sir so that means i felt myself that the npt has done its job training the faculty and then making them to learn more and more and making the uh, uh, then it is become easy for the students to learn and one day i casually asked because my faculty do not know what they did i asked some of the students uh, <coughs> how was the course whether you are regularly uh, going through the course and this thing and they said sir we are regularly going through but we are finding it a little more uh, tough and i said that okay you have to feel tough only then that you can learn the subject and sir we are learning and uh, finally i asked how many of you have sat for the examinations and the number so more than 1000 were registered and it became a shocking uh, <coughs> results only about 100 students registered and that i am really bothered about how many have passed at least even one student has passed from my institution i would be very happy so thanks that more than 50% of the students have passed and that is uh, that means the nptel has uh, done its uh, job and doing things and how to take it forward uh, the things and uh, now professors are all talking about uh, the choice based credit system so we are already introduced uh, some kind of choice based credit system and we have made it that every branch of our college have to take at least one online courses not only for that one branch is every year second year third year final year we are not told to the first year students perhaps that chemistry 2 is now coming up and they can take over the thing so every branch every student have to take one course uh, one online courses and we have also made it that if the student passes in this examination we can give some credit over uh, they are being an autonomous uh, inst autonomous institutions and apart from that i am looking for the the students who are uh, fast learning so we have a particular branch and if uh, iits or the the mooc courses i can give these are all the advanced courses which we can take so right from second year or third year onwards if the students is able to take some few or three or four advanced courses we can give a different kind of uh, certification and by which that he will be able to get a get along with the gate and passing or he can maybe get along with the good industries and then they can go they can go the the certification process can be done and uh, other things that nptel can also see that any student who registers and then passes with a good percentage of marks uh, right and the five courses if they take it again you can take some few more the certification process and so that it will be at large it will be useful but on the whole that emails professors are little bit uh, i mean apprehension about the emails which you are getting from the students sir the uh, if five or six students are giving email and perhaps that he is good in communication i ask our students role so why you are not able to not talking to the professors sir we are really afraid of those professors because they are also the masters so i told them that you don't have to be afraid of uh, asking questions if you do not know how to write a question and put it in the email you please tell me what you want to ask i will write a question and then give it to you back so that is what the teachers or the faculty have to do and therefore that you will get more and more emails and i take it the other way which is a positive one if only very less emails have come you know, very questions are asked i think that most of the students have understood well than what i am teaching to the same course with them so that is what you have to take it but in due course of time i think that you will get a much more email courses maybe uh, much more constructive feedback from the the students part of it 
but on the whole the students are now they are aware of these kinds of courses online courses and they keep re, uh, they keep registering in future i think that you will have more of job than uh, the comfortably that you have to come out with a com somewhat comfort zone now nptl has created few courses and becomes teachers are learning students are learning perhaps the students may ask few more courses or in a different way perhaps that we all of us have a little more work so thank you for the opportunities and uh, i really thank nptl Uh, for having come out with the thing, I I think I was the first one to buy these course materials by paying one lakh or two lakhs rupees at the time, uh, yeah, at the time, and then we were really installed and we put some more uh, the kind of a thing. So I think that NPTEL can be a and good alternative for all of us and in, in learning or learning engineering. So not engineering tomorrow, but uh, what engineers in the past also can learn much and then I think we can become better professional than the professional which we are yesterday or today. And tomorrow we will be a better professional. Thank you so much. Also, I would like to thank the NPTEL uh, uh, for uh, giving the opportunity for our students and all of uh, all the faculty members uh, to learn through <coughs> online programs. In fact, uh, in our college, uh, the students registered in large numbers in various courses. More than thousand uh, students registered. But ultimately, <coughs> when the exam in the examination, only around 150 students uh, participated, and maybe around 15, 20 students uh, uh, scored marks, good marks. Um, so we wanted to get the feedback from the students why they were not, uh, uh, you know, uh, participating the exam. But they said that, many of them said, uh, it is a good learning experience for us, sir, and uh, we learnt a lot through this process. Then I asked them uh, how uh, was it different from what uh, our, our teachers teach those subjects. They said it is totally different, and the high level of teaching. And uh, they are also saying that uh, some tricks are uh, being taught, short, shortcuts of solving problems. Particularly, uh, the basic electric circuits. They were very happy about that uh, uh, that program, and uh, they said a uh, lot, lot many shortcuts uh, of uh, solving problems are taught. And uh, in the C programming also, they are very happy. And in certain programs, they express that, um, for example, uh, in civil engineering, uh, they were saying uh, that uh, the assignments were were given in one form, but the examination was in a diff totally different form, and they were not uh, knowing that this is how the examination will be conducted. But the learning experience was good. But the only thing is that in the examination, uh, the pattern was uh, slightly different. And which was um, expressed by our students. And in English, uh, they were saying uh, that uh, the internal assessment marks were not been considered, and uh, they, they were asking why it was not done. So that was one thing. And uh, another uh, uh, comment that we received from students was that uh, after uh, assessment, marks are given, but uh, they are not. Uh, they do not. No, which one is right or which one is wrong? So only total marks are given. What is correct and what is not correct and uh, is not given, so that they, they can learn why it is wrong and how to correct themselves. So this opportunity was, uh, if it is given, it will be good for them. And I also feel that uh, instead of calling, okay, you called uh, the spokes, the principals, and the mentors to, to meet here. But uh, it will be much more worthwhile if we call the students also, because I find that 80 percent of the uh, uh, participants are students, and if you call call them here and ask their opinion, I think it will be a very interesting experience for all the, the professors who are experiencing uh, 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 saying that they get some few emails. But if you bring the students, they have a lot to tell. So I think you will uh, uh, get the first-hand uh, experience from the students. But as a whole, uh, all the students like this course, and some students said, uh, "Anyway, I, I have uh, got benefited through these videos, but why should I write exam?" They said, and I said, uh, "No, no, it's 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 better you participate uh, so that you know whether you really understood the concepts or not." And uh, they were happy. And initially, we were also uh, not, not not very happy about uh, the students not registering and not uh, writing the exam. But uh, as expressed by everybody. And I find in all in these numbers, if I see, so this is a phenomenon, and it is also uh, liberated individuals. They 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 train to become liberated individuals, but it's a nice experience for them also. 
but as a whole uh, our students uh, like this program very much and i also thank uh, npetel for providing this opportunity for all the students and for all the faculty members thank you very much for opportunity uh, thanks a lot for the feedback actually we, we are asking faculty members to release detailed solutions now i think in some assignments oh for the final exam okay yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So what went right in the final exam and what didn't go right? Okay, okay. So that's going to be a little bit more complicated. We have to figure out how to do that. So maybe we can do it uh, in some reasonable way. I think for objective type questions, that should be possible. No? But maybe we're not publishing the question. Okay. So yeah, so that, that discussion came up in the last meeting also when we had, should we publish the question papers or not? It's a bit difficult for a faculty members. <laughs> they keep publishing question papers. Next time they offer the course, they have to come up with totally new <laughs> question papers. So it's not common practice to publish uh, these kind of question papers. So they're hesitating a little bit. So we'll, we'll figure out some way in which information can be given to students on what went right, etc. But that was, that is fair, that has to go. And the other thing about uh, calling students is a fantastic idea. I think maybe even from all the local chapter colleges, we can have students here uh, who have done uh, the course and then also faculty from here can interact with them. And uh, yeah, I think like, like you also mentioned, students find writing emails or posting something on the forum, they are a bit scared. I think that will maybe, maybe in a forum like this, they'll be able to talk better. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. So what we, what we tell now, though, is that the ass assignment questions and the exam questions should be kind of similar. Should be similar. That, that's something we are asking. Good afternoon to you all. I am Dr. Anbucharian. Park Valley Engineering College. So in our college, totally for first phase, July to September, uh, uh, nearly 95 students are registered. Uh, 76 students are certified. And then second phase, uh, nearly 38 students are certified. First of all, I thank the NPTEL coordinators and the administrative people for giving concession for our students for writing the examination, 50%. Thank you, one and all, for NPTEL coordinators. And uh, another one request is uh, the SEDI Center. So we are having the SEDI Center. Uh, for uh, The examination center is uh, nearest to our college. We request to, to allot. In Cotton Growth, near to Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kindly consider. So we are also having the TCS accredited center. So for this collaboration, if it is possible nearest to SRM college or another college, kindly consider for this. Thank you to you all. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, another one is, uh, for, uh, in, uh, in continuation of this, in our college, we are publishing the NPTEL. If you are if you passing through the NH45, you see the advertisement in our college, NPTEL. Online courses, uh, we are colleges of the city center. Oh, if, okay. And also in our college, uh, most of the places are uh, uh, advertised by the, I mean, the banner, the uh, NPTS center contact. <laughs> Thank you to our management and the principal. Uh, he also coming. Thank you, Anand present here. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, uh, Fred, for just to uh, set the record straight. This, we initially called it study center, and then there was some confusion about IGNU study center, people out there charging money and all that. We wanted to get clear of that, so we are now calling it local chapter. Okay, so please use local chapter from now on. <laughs> Don't say study center. Uh, thanks a lot. And so for Chennai, we have not really thought about offering other uh, centers, right? Chennai is always only one center. So you are saying, you know, within Chennai itself, uh, there is a requirement from going from Kartanpuratur to maybe some other place in Avadi or something is quite far, I guess. So we have to think about it. Uh, but as a policy, we don't have, uh, we don't like students from the same college writing in the same place. We try to avoid it as much as possible. So maybe, maybe if not in Valiyama itself, maybe somewhere else nearby in Vandalur or something, we can find something. I think afternoon is, uh, I mean, reaching very soon. I even though I'm very good morning to you all uh, in this forum. Right, I'm from Kalasalingam University, uh, Krishnan Koyil, working as assistant professor, Michelle Shanmuha Priya, acted as a mentor. So I really want to share a few experience and I, I just in front of you for few words to share about the thanking session like I just consider here this time. Um, for uh, both sides I have to thank as a mentor like um, uh, for the NPTEL office people and as well as uh, for the course uh, instructors. One is uh, we had two courses already completed uh, in our students like uh, one is earlier we had uh, one more managing service course. Um, this is Jaintal Satterjee from IIT Kanpur professor. 
as well as after that another one more course we have registered uh, that time uh, when i registered uh, after uh, if i would like to register my college students that time we have uh, internal examinations and all the uh, after looking at all the courses every registration process over right closed then only after while i am communicating with the course related details with my students they will return back from the internal exams every registration process uh, closed then i just uh, discuss with the directly i mean uh, communicate with the request mail as well as through phone uh, approaching approach the iit professor prajbhushan really um, they helped a lot they specially as well as in association and uh, connection with the NPTEL office, even though after close their registration process, they extend one more day specially for us and all the 70 students registered and uh, really um, they used a lot from the materials which is uploaded in the videos and each and everything. Only one hesitation with them. After that, uh, I just, I, I don't know about even the local chapter, uh, our um, nodal in charge has instructed us earlier. Uh, like you know we will have uh, exam center in our university if more than 50 students we will have the opportunity like that so the same way i believed it and i have uh, instructed all my even on uh, all my colleagues uh, uh, six nearly out of uh, 70 registered uh, candidates for that particular course um, instead of uh, six seven of them as a assistant professor and associate professors also so uh, for them if i give assurance uh, we will write the exam in our own place. No need to go somewhere else, not in Madurai or somewhere else. So they are very really interested to register the course. End of the time, they, I mean, uh, again, it is only in the local chapter we won't have, uh, we will go for uh, Madurai. That time for, uh, I mean, reaching the place to Madurai itself, some of the faculty again hesitate and drop out while for attending the final exam. Uh, uh, so, uh, if possible, make, uh, uh, because uh, this time, uh, really, uh, three more courses, they are uh, more interested to register for uh, uh, January 18th uh, deadline. So, after, if it is possible to make uh, nearby more number of students, uh, those who registered for the courses, if you make the opportunity for us to do things uh, in our campus itself, I think it's uh, more nearly nearby other uh, nearby institutions also uh, very happy to hear about uh, now only i am seeing many of uh, our own nearby place people here so we will uh, get more benefit out of this so if we if uh, and this is a humble request from all our uh, faculty member from my department please uh, share these things with the office people and get the things good so probably we will reach uh, higher extent number of uh, success in nptel online course so thanks a lot for the course instructors and nice way of approaching things with the NPTEL office. And last two, two days uh, before for the online exam also, I just discussed with the people uh, related with the other instruction and they are uh, very scared about the, how to approach the online exam. But I just boost up some of the confidence level from them. While I'm sharing the things with the people, I had a call from IIT uh, Madras NPTEL office itself because uh, three, four uh, professors even uh, they didn't receive their uh, hall tickets. They nicely, I mean, um, associated with us and uh, provided all the special hall ticket for them. So thanks a lot for all kinds of uh, supports and help uh, assignment we required from the people. So the same continuous uh, link with you all uh, in near future also in the successful way. Thank you very much for all. Thank you. Yeah, in uh, response to this, we'd like to say one thing. Uh, one is the exam dates are pre-published. So we'd want, if you all are requesting for a center in your particular city, we'd want it at least a month in a month ahead. If not, actually more than a month is more welcome. But max of at least a month ahead we'd want because we have to communicate to our exam partner, ask them which is the college there that they can provide. And if there are online exams, right, they have to check out uh, colleges with computers. And there are people who run exams through the year. There is some exam or the other that he says, Ion is a partner who is running. So then they have to see whether that college has enough systems that particular day. They are not running other exams and so on. So logistics wise, if you want a uh, request an exam center in your city, please let us know at least a month ahead. Now that you have the list of courses and the exams, you think more than 50 students are going to write from your college. 
tell us now in January itself and we'll start working with you on that. Also, the number of staff that we have here, yeah, we are working through the day, through the week, whatever. And we are working with so many colleges. So, you know, we are keeping track of everything. We are trying to improve our processes. But there may be slip-ups. So, kind of just follow up with us on this. The third point is uh, when the coordinator of a college, there were some things that we are missing here. We had a list, but I'm coming through with one point here. Uh, when the coordinator or the SPOC or anybody of a college sends us a list of students Red, who is registering for an exam, who are, who are enrolled for an exam and you're telling us, saying give us scholarships or something. Many times the email IDs do not match. So one check that we do from our office is we take out the uh, list of students enrolled in the course on the portal. We get the list of uh, email IDs of all the students enrolled in that particular course. The least thing we want to do is at least check the student you're requesting a scholarship for or asking us to register for the exam is there in the course. So that's a bare minimum that we are asking for. Then only he would have submitted at least some assignments, gotten some marks and so on. Many times we are getting wrong email IDs. There's a dot missing, there's a dash missing. The person would have given an institute ID while actually he would have enrolled on it with a personal ID. Obviously we're going to have mismatches. We do not know what the problem is because when we match with the name, right, there would be 10 Priyas or 20 Shanmugams turning up. We don't know who is that from your college who has registered. So uh, just be aware that when you all send us lists for uh, giving us registration details or for say applying for scholarships, the email IDs on the portal are the same as what are given to us through the Excel sheets that you share with us. This would make our jobs very easy and we would not be missing out candidates and you know a last minute scramble for can you allow them to write and so on. We wouldn't have to accommodate. It can all go through the regular process itself. So that is something that uh, yeah would make work easier for both of us I guess. Thank you. So good afternoon one and all present here. I am Dr. S. Nagalakshmi, Associate Professor, Tripoli Department of Kamaraj College of Engineering and Technology, Virudhanagar. And I am one of the, I am the SPOC of our college. And uh, I just want to share my experience as an SPOC uh, to, uh, here. And first of all, before this NPTEL uh, study center, uh, as a faculty, I do not know uh, about the NPTEL online courses because before that also it was there and uh, three of our students, only three of our students have uh, enrolled, registered and they have written exams. And uh, during uh, November 2014, only two students have written and that two, one, two uh, girl students, one is from EC and another one is from E&I. They got certification and that also we don't know anything, only the tutor of the student uh, only uh, knew all those things and they they too don't publish the details everything we are we were not aware of the NPTEL online courses and uh, another time during uh, the march or something else uh, a mail came to our principal that you have been invited to take part as a NPTEL study center at that time uh, and uh, our principal because we are the nodal center for Anna University uh, CFD uh, our college is a nodal center and we, we have 19 cluster colleges around us. So uh, for that, uh, I am uh, one of the coordinators of the QIC. And uh, hence, he called me and whether we can choose, we are going to apply. Uh, like that, uh, he told. OK, sir, we'll try, sir. Uh, like that, I told. And we have applied. And during April 6th, I came to IIT uh, to attend the awareness program, which was given by Andrew, sir. And uh, he gave a clear picture how to enroll, how to register, how to download videos, everything he have given nicely, he have explained nicely. And after that, I have, uh, we have formed uh, seven, uh, there is seven uh, coordinators from each and every department. And then uh, I have uh, also registered for two courses, and I, but I have uh, yeah, registered, uh, enrolled for two courses. But I have registered only for one course. <laughs> so at that time, to know the process in full, I have also written exams also. I have taken the course Basic Electrical Engineering. And I have been uh, qualified uh, with 79% of marks. And <laughs> but I have not prepared anything. <laughs> I have just watched, that is, uh, learned from the videos. And I am a regular uh, assignment submitter. And I do motivated many students in my department. How I have motivated my students is that what I'll do is 
I have registered for basic electric, enrolled for basic electrical circuits. What I do is, I will download all the videos first and I will copy the, those videos in a particular system in my department. I have uh, named the system also the NPGAL online certification core system. So in that one, I have placed all those videos. Uh, also I have placed the assignments, copied the assignments in Word and also I have given the because some students may feel uh, difficult to download so they can take it uh, through the pen drive also so for that I have downloaded all the videos assignment questions everything I place and uh, what we do is only during uh, that Wednesday that is the last date for submission of assignment at that time uh, I, I have, I'll work out all the problems and I will check whether my problem answer is correct with my student and we both uh, some students we will discuss and we will put up the answers and the next day immediately the Thursday we will get the marks whether uh, we have got all correct or how many marks we have scored etc. And after three weeks you see uh, in that uh, assignment also there is an option to check the answers that is very great advantage we started working from the uh, Thursday, next Thursday till the Wednesday uh, we will complete. So that is one thing what I have to say. Thank the coordinator of that course because for assignments if they, uh, if they give a provision to check the answers it is well and good. Another one is and uh, like uh, myself every faculty members they have also motivated the students and in our college uh, uh, we have uh, 207 students registered. Uh, the enrolled is a uh, little bit higher. I don't want to mention here. So how many have registered is 207 and 191 they have been certified. So one more credit I want to share is we are the uh, one among the colleges that offered many courses among those 18. We have offered 13 courses uh, among the 18 short term courses. So we have uh, offered more number of courses, we have given more exposure to the students among the uh, courses and only one difficulty we have faced is like uh, Diva ma'am <laughs> told that uh, during the hall ticket we have faced a lot of problems, I have disturbed them a lot because instead of Gmail they have given us the typo error that, that exists G A M I L like that. So I have uh, really I have troubled. Uh, so <laughs> they were very kind enough to uh, satisfy us. And uh, during the time of the exam also, some students came me and uh, ma'am, I didn't uh, still get the hall ticket with my photo and with my uh, date of birth. And I told you come to the center, we'll see everything like that and they have made uh, enough provisions for writing all the certifications so that part alone we have to improve ma'am and uh, one, uh, another one is the mentor registration uh, during this uh, july batch only uh, uh, during august only we had started that mentor login process uh, if we have started it earlier could be more beneficial for the students it seems the portal uh, that is we are giving the mentor na name list and you are give, uh, sending a mail to the mentors to in uh, that is you are inviting the mentors and they are also accepting and in some cases that mentor name is not available uh, to select in the portal so that is what are the only problem we have so that is we, we are giving the SPOC is yes, enrolling the name of the mentors and uh, you are sending an invitation letter to the mentors and they are also responding and uh, we need to get it in the portal. And then only we can uh, uh, select the mentors. Then only they will uh, actively involve in uh, and that's what, that is what I want to share with you. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, so this concept of mentors is you'll give us the IDs of the faculty members 
uh, you all cannot directly add yourselves as mentors as you know. So for the coming run of courses which start on January 18th, maybe by January 1st week or so if the colleges have fixed up the mentors for the courses, you all send the email IDs to us at nptel at iitmradesi.in. Uh, give us one email preferably by the SPOC saying for which course, who is the mentor, give the mentor email ID. We will add it in the back end of the courses whatever appropriately so that it will show and before the course run itself, you can start using the mentor logins. But uh, the mentors have to be enrolled to the course. That's a requirement for them to appear there. So if actually we have added on the back end, why it may not be visible is if that person has not enrolled to the course. That's a possibility. The other is, of course, we may not have added him. So that is also there. We have got seven ranks, uh, toppers, toppers in our college. We feel very glad to say that. And I don't know if you'll have seen in the local chapter pages that you'll had for every college, we have actually added the details about the courses being taken by the colleges in the last two runs, September and November exams. We have added the number of uh, students registered in every course you have taken and we have published the photos of the toppers from your colleges also in every course if they are there. So we have updated these details on the local chapter page. You can probably go through it and let us know if any changes, corrections are there. Another suggestion is in Amini College of Engineering, they had done a small video, I think Professor Andrew mentioned it. We'd actually be very happy if, uh, you know, many of your colleges could prepare some videos about student feedback about the courses, how y'all found it, some certificate samples and so on, and send it to us. Y'all could host it on your local chapter page also for visibility. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is uh, A. Raja Mishan from Anai Velangani College of Engineering, Kanyakumari, the corner of Tamil Nadu. Uh, there are certain things that uh, we want to share uh, from the rural end, that is the end of Tamil Nadu uh, among the uh, our college is uh, uh, in the middle of uh, the villages, so people are from, uh, the students are from the end, uh, village end. So certain things that we want to share, uh, we are happy, we, uh, first of all we are very happy with uh, the support given by, by the NPTEL team and uh, whenever we have any doubts, uh, yeah, at any time we can able to make a call uh, before 5 or 6 I think. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we have got a very good support uh, from their end and uh, also the scholarship for our students uh, which is very helpful for our students to come up uh, and learn something learn something different apart from the regular uh, academic courses and uh, there are certain things like uh, um, first of all the programming part programming in c especially uh, when when we start our first part uh, we have a certain uh, some of the suggestions like uh, we do have marks for the programs uh, like uh, for the steps also, but in the next year, in the next side, uh, next exam, we don't have anything uh, such thing like that, and our students are uh, literally will really say they are disappointed with. Uh, uh, they can't. Uh, they are very much scared at the last end. Like uh, we don't, we are not getting an answer, something like that. So that is uh, that seems to be some negative part from our end in our college, and uh, and one more thing that I want to say is like uh, when first of all we opened the portal. Literally, they say like, uh, is it a YouTube <laughs> having the set of videos, something like that. So, uh, but still, they are very much happy with uh, whatever the courses that's already available. Uh, and the, uh, we are also keep on uh, adding up to them, informing them like we have the set of courses which is useful. And now it's uh, uh, across the department also. So, and one more thing like uh, um, students, uh, they are coming from villages and uh, most of the students are uh, Tamil medium. So they are uh, uh, from second year we are we are giving this course and uh, students just now only they are picking up with the uh, Tamil part. Uh, uh, they are coming out with Tamil and they are taking up the English part. So what students feeling is uh, this is uh, the, the standard, it's IIT standard, it's very high standard but uh, stu uh, students they want the course to be somewhat slow. Uh, because uh, uh, we, we have the lessons, uh, even I see some of the students, introduction to C programming, that single video itself, many of our students uh, saw three, four times. Because uh, they are, they are not, uh, they are not uh, in the sync with the video. So this is one thing. And if uh, to improve, what we can suggest is uh, one, one small part is like, we can have some subtitles. Uh, so whatever is taught, so we can have the same part. So that people can, uh, so students, what they will do is, uh, even though they saw, uh, they do it the second time, they can be able to have some uh, sync up with uh, whatever is said and they can be able to easily understand. So this avoids them four or five times of uh, watching the same video and that one thing. And the second one is, uh, 
uh, this is uh, from rural point of uh, end of the college this is uh, some uh, for most of the students it uh, seems to be somewhat overload so uh, what they think, uh, even though uh, they don't uh, when we, they come to college then only they can able to have the internet connections and all even though we have the downloaded they don't have the systems in their homes also so it will be fine if we have some more time extended uh, let the video be by 20 hours, uh, 20 or 40 hours, it's, it's fine for us. But uh, the time of uh, completion of the course, uh, apart from the regular 20 hours, if, it's how, if we have something extra, so it will be helpful for our students. Because we faced in the, we have attended two exams, our students attended two exams. And in, the, in that, they struck in the first two it's, uh, videos itself, more, uh, around uh, if some 10 students, certain means uh, one or two students, they struck in the first uh, two videos itself. So all that those uh, 20 hours times covered in that video itself. So uh, we want to have some suggestion for that, so that it will be helpful for our students. And uh, they want to, uh, most of the, uh, apart from the course, uh, I, I can say like uh, when, I, when I look around, some of the students, uh, they are watching the video to know that English, English fluency. They want to get the English fluency. For that itself, uh, students uh, watching the video, even though they are not uh, interested in assignments, courses and all. So for that itself, they are uh, coming up with uh, enrolling. So it will be fine from our end, uh, the end of the Tamil Nadu, we can have for the rules. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, they will sanction a project for subtitling in uh, multiple languages. So, Subtitling in English, we already want to do. It's part of what we do. Uh, there is a delay in our process by which we cannot subtitle when the course is running. I don't know. I think it's very hard to do it when it's running. Maybe the next time when the course is run, we will have subtitles in English. Definitely, no doubt about it. And we might even have subtitles in Tamil. By that time. So that will really help, I think. And uh, the other thing we are trying to push faculty to do is get the first one or two weeks of content recorded as early as possible and put it up on the portal. As in, immediately, as soon as the course is announced, we want to have at least the first week's content. So the problem you're talking about, how people get stuck in the first week, hopefully they'll have more time to see the first week and be in tune by the time they come to the second week or third week. But the time is constrained and it's very hard for us to push it beyond. But we are announcing the dates now. Hopefully that will uh, help you a little bit. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Tucker High School Panavalanchali, Sri Vodam Pakanar, Alada Padish High School Munchitan today. Language problem with the Sayo, Yelarko. In the Mala, we know the Asri Rudon, the Kunjo, and the mother is a male mother, rent video, moon video, or the Solikurthangi, the Pripunjik Lab in Solitanga. Language will eventually be other Pandasolina, Kandipa, the Marisa Solana. That's right. Let Tamil subtitles on the Professor Pratap has submitted a national project. English subtitles on the other as far as possible, we'll try to do that. Yeah. Now, language is an issue. Uh, language was an issue. But I think students have to learn. Uh, they have to practice in English and so on. So uh, we've already started doing uh, some uh, demo of uh, you know uh, subtitling in Tamil. Actually, we are trying to subtitle in uh, almost 22 Indian languages. Uh, we are starting with NPTEL content and uh, we are looking at uh, and the first 40, 40 courses we are looking at. Uh, the other first year all common courses or 8 courses and then uh, about 8 maybe important courses of every discipline, every engineering discipline. Uh, that's the basic NPTEL content we are trying to do that. Uh, but we will also try and do it with uh, online courses. Uh, online courses, uh, it is not dubbing, it is subtitling. You know, exactly the point uh, uh, Professor here was making that uh, we want the student to also learn English. And uh, mainly we feel first year the problem will come. They will come and they will not know English immediately or uh, know all con uh, new material is already in English. Uh, so they have to learn the language and also learn the subject. That is very difficult. So we hope that subtitling means they can understand what is going on based on the subtitle. And they will also learn the English in the side by side by listening to various professors speak in English. So this we are trying to do. Uh, we already did demo. We have also submitted to the uh, uh, ministry proposal uh, to you know, do this in a proper large scale fashion. Uh, because again, uh, it's not an easy thing to do uh, because uh, much of the people, the agencies that are there who do this kind of they usually done it for entertainment industry. Whereas uh, we are now doing for technical content. Uh, so some judgment is required. They have to judge you know how much to translate, how much to leave as technical term, uh, something is there. 
I mean, in fact, we will require maybe faculty assistance from various colleges to uh, check whether that subtitling is correct. So that uh, we will come, come uh, with the, once that effort gets going, we will come to you for all those things. Online courses also, some of the online courses use videos which were originally recorded for NPTEL content. So once we start this subtitling effort, uh, you will see some variations initially. We will see some courses coming with the subtitles in Tamil. Some may not come with the subtitles in Tamil. But we will try. We will keep trying our best to keep pushing as many courses and as many classes as possible with uh, subtitles in as many languages as possible. Uh, once we get the system running, when we know how to go about it, we will understand how much lead time we need. That is, if, if a faculty gives it to us uh, uh, for first week's uh, classes, uh, how, uh, how far in advance we need to have it so that we can uh, immediately push it out with uh, some site subtitles uh, in different languages. Uh, we want to do for all 22 languages, uh, but we may not, I mean, I think the number of people in some languages and uh, even getting experts in some languages may be difficult. So our, I think, initial attempt is at least eight languages. We want to make sure we are really pushing hard on those eight languages. And then eight more, we will do some lesser number of uh, lectures, and then maybe a few more with uh, very few lectures. But this is definitely something we are uh, planning to do. Uh, if only some demo lectures are out there, but we want to do it in a very coordinated way. So we'll do that. And we have separate office for NPTEL in our uh, college university. I think uh, this must be uh, different from others. And uh, uh, many things are there to be discussed. Uh, as, as one of our faculty told us to see about the mentor selection. So that could be done in this way that the SPOC will allocate the mentors uh, to via the NPTEL office. Then the, NP then the mentors can select the students from the list available. If this is possible, this can be looked on. Because what happens is that the students are finding it difficult to search the mail ID and to fit in. They don't know the mail ID of the mentor. So most of the students, they don't know the mail ID of the mentor. It has to be communicated well. So some they do it, some they don't do it. So there's a confusion. So it would be better if the SPS allocates the mentor, the mentor allocates the, I mean, selects the students. So it could be better in that way. And uh, the one more problem is that uh, the well, registration, uh, first time it was like this. Uh, we used to uh, put a template, and we used to collect the mail IDs from the students, and we used to submit it. The later part, how it was, the students were made to uh, enroll themselves. So what happened is that first time they gave the, their own mail ID. Second time, I know you know, sir, students they have a lot of mail IDs nowadays, not a single mail ID. Okay, uh, so for each and every class they have different mail IDs. So they submit some other mail ID. Especially then, as Madam, one of our Madam told, typographical errors are there again. So it's we are finding it difficult. I mean, even even it's the case with the faculty members who are registering. And the last part is that uh, our university has planned. Our vice chancellor has uh, commented on all faculty members is making compulsory to take at least one uh, course from NPTEL. So I think the NPTEL office will give uh, 50 percent concession at least for all faculty members in that. OK, this is a request from our side also. So almost around uh, 382 faculties will be registering for NPTEL course this semester. So now to understand what the MOOC, how the MOOC process goes on and all these things. Okay. So this is all. Thank you. So a uh, couple of points. I think this mentors and mentee selection has been a point for many people. So there, there is uh, there's two issues to keep in mind, oh, actually maybe the one issue. One is, uh, the main issue is, this is an open course. So when we say students, there are students from all across the country. So it's very hard for, in fact, even the faculty who's conducting the course, they don't have access to the list of all students in their course. We, we don't give that email. There's, there's a privacy issue there. I don't know if you, if you think about it. The student who wants to learn it may not want everybody to know their email ID, et cetera. So we have to be very careful about that. So, we, but for faculty members, we do do it. It's, it's a back-end process by which we process and we get the mail IDs to them in case they want it. But usually faculty don't ask for the email ID. So there is an issue with that. So the one way in which we can maybe solve it is uh, in the list of mentors, if we can somehow include the university or college's name, then students uh, will be able to find it. So maybe we can do it the other way. But it will still have to work that students have to pick the mentors, and mentors cannot pick students. I think this is just the, the privacy issue is too big there. We, there are terms in which uh, they come and log into our site. We can't let everybody access to email ID of the student. It's, it's, that's one issue. The other issue is with the scholarship, and we're trying very hard to raise money. Believe me, for scholarships, we have to raise money. So the, there was one company which was, it's not MHRD money. It's not MHRD money. It's, it's uh, privately raised uh, through Arison. So privately raised money through corporate uh, CSR support. So not many companies are willing to give us money. <laughs> we had one company. I think there's still money there, but I think for January run will be okay. But hopefully by July we can raise more money. We're trying our best to raise. So don't be very, very uh, sure about the scholarship. January will be okay, but I'm not sure about July. We, we will try our best to raise money uh, as much as possible. Okay, so I think those are the two points I wanted to make. Yes. Uh, very good afternoon. Myself, Karthi A. Uh, principal representing from Thyagarajar Polytechnic, Salem. So in our polytechnic last July 2014, the students are registering for the courses. 
and 232 students are registered for the CIS courses and all the 232 students are certified. And most interestingly, the one professor is telling that the students may have the problem of speaking English. And each and every day we are going to the class, we are insisting that the importance of improving the communication. But very interestingly, here in our students, out of the six courses, 43 students are uh, registered for practical English. They are more interested in practical English. And we are offering the continuing education center through which we are conducting a lot of certificate courses. And I am telling to the students to go and register for English, communicate English courses in the continuing education center. But the students are not responding to register in our center. But rather than they are registering for more number of uh, students registering for practical English in NPDL courses. So the students are thinking that the best teachers are available maybe in the NPTEL. And this year, or maybe this uh, duration, we are giving the instruction to the students. Almost uh, five to 600 students are ready for registering the courses. And we are giving the instruction to the teachers, you must register at least one course and pass the examination of NPTEL courses. Otherwise, we will not release the increment. So this is the, my experience. I want to share the experience. And thank you very much. So I think that may not be a very popular move. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm uh, an academic at the course. I'm a believer in choices and you have to give choices to people. <laughs> don't, uh, don't push things too hard into people and eventually it won't survive if you push things too hard. I mean, it's just my idea, but if you think, when you are the best judge of what works for you. Anyway. And also, I think and to another point I wanted to make about sponsorship, I, I think I believe Pular Reddy College is the college, there's a college trust itself sponsors students. Uh, also, so that's an interesting model. I don't know if that will work or not. So deserving, really deserving students, if you think your trust is willing to uh, help out, that's also a great model to follow as well. Uh, we have Professor Nandan Sudarshanam here with us. I'd like, uh, he ran the data analytics course last time between July and September, which was hugely popular. So I just uh, request him to share his experience. So I just, uh, I, I stepped in a little late, so I don't want to repeat something that's already been said. Uh, I just thought I'd emphasize two things, which is, um, I see this role of mentors being really critical. Um, because for whatever reason, right, um, this whole online learning model is very exciting. Um, you know, it's taken up in a big way, and yet we have our brick and mortar institutions. And there is a reason for that. Uh, they seem to provide the critical structure that is needed, um, and that's really what the mentors can do, which is they can provide the structure and uh, bolster the entire online learning uh, you know, model. And I think that's, that's very important. Um, the other role which I think is really important, and I think, um, can I just put in a small slider? So this is just a joke to kind of lighten the mood. Um, you know, I think, I think feedback to us is very important. We'd like to know how good a job we do. And I teach a course in data analytics, and so I believe in data. And so here's a cartoon for you, right? So this is an app. We're all familiar with apps on cell phones. And so here is a rating. Um, the app is supposed to warn people when there's a tornado coming by. You know, we just had this whole storm in Tamil Nadu. We are all washed out from it. So imagine an app that actually told you, saying that you know a storm is coming by, a warning. So here are people who have rated this app, right? So the first one says good user interface, UI, good user interface, many alert choices. You can make it buzz. You can make it make a loud sound, whatever. Um, the second person says it's running great, no crashes, it's not crashing the app, it's working really well, good rating. Oh, the third one says, I like how you can choose many locations, so it'll warn you of any of these locations. So all of them have given it a good rating. The last person says, the app did not warn me about a tornado, <laughs> right? And yet, the average of those four is four and a half, you know? So, so you know, we are sometimes reacting to data. Um, I see the number of people who submitted assignments. I see the number drop. I see the number raise. Um, but I'm going off of this model. And there's a problem with this model. So any feedback that we get, and you know we can't get feedback from 1,000 students who register for a course. So any critical feedback that we can get, and any way that we can you know, um, learn more from your experiences, I think would be valuable to me. So. I think both on that ground and on the ground of where you know mentors provide the structure, 
um, to students and thereby uh, bolster this advantage we have with online learning would be really valuable. Thank you. Very good afternoon to everyone present here. I am Engeshwari from SSM Institute of Engineering and Technology, Bindical. I am the SPC of my college. And I have to say two points here. Uh, most of the feedback from our college, the students felt the exam timings could be changed because all the exams were conducted in the afternoon uh, between 1 to 4 or 2 to 5. It would be better if we can have that in the morning session. And then uh, I myself registered for one exam during the past November. And uh, I, uh, I registered for uh, geosynthetics and uh, soil infrastructures. Um, that was an online exam. The graphs were uh, the um, supporting documents like some graphs, charts, and tables that were given in the soft copy. I couldn't interpolate the values uh, during my examination within the prescribed time. That was one difficulty. Me and my students uh, went through that exam. And uh, for some courses, the um, assignments were of objective type and the exams were of subjective type. And they felt it difficult because uh, uh, they didn't expect such a type of exam. It was a shock over them. And uh, in our college, we do have a self-appraisal system for faculty. And our principal insists that every faculty has to undertake or uh, has to be certified a minimum of two NPTEL online courses every year. And he makes sure that every Wednesday that every faculty submits their assignment from <laughs> And uh, during the uh, uh, during this year, 2015, uh, all the three uh, courses of exam, our uh, faculty as well as students underwent right from the January course, and then the July course, and then the, from the September to November courses. All the three exams, our students registered and they have got certified. Most of it, above uh, most of our faculty have been certified through all the exams. And thanks for the NPTEL and its team for supporting us all the time. And uh, they were very supportive. The NPTEL team was very supportive all through their time. Uh, because one candidate, unknowingly, she has given uh, Coimbatore as uh, exam center. And we are from Dindical. During the last minute, we claimed that. Uh, and uh, we just uh, we didn't check the hall ticket till the last minute. Only the day before the exam, the candidate checked the hall ticket and told that it was a Coimbatore center. I couldn't go over there. I have paid money. Is there any option that I can do? So we contacted the office and uh, they immediately told us, uh, OK, she can write it at Bindical. We will speak with our exam partner. And it's so kind of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, we'd just like to clarify here that uh, last year, if you all had seen, if the colleges who participated, we had opened our exam form in about 100 centers all across India. And then we had to narrow it down and we had to bring it down to cities. So after about four or five runs, we now open our form only in about 30 cities across India. And on request from local chapters, we hold exams in th uh, the city where the college is uh, located. So if it's 30 cities in India, it comes down to almost like popular uh, states like Tamil Nadu and Andhra, we have two, three cities. But other states, we have just about one city. So when we're looking at it, we're thinking like if 150 kilometers, some student has to travel and come, it will take him about four to five hours. We don't want him to get into something like getting into accommodation, coming there, and so on. So morning 5.30 or 6, if he leaves, he can come to the center by, say, 11 or 12 take the exam between 1 and 4, 2 to 5, get back. That was more the idea of doing it, it as an afternoon slot, not for anything else. So hoping that we open up exams in more cities and you know students are able to access them uh, easier, then we could probably think of uh, morning exams. But the idea of the afternoon was more on these lines, that students can just come as a day trip, write the exam, and go back. This process of MOOCs, when it was started two years ago, the examination fee collected from the student covers all the operations of running the exam. And I think hardly any money is left in that, because the, the purpose is not to make any funding out of it. The creation of the courses, the maintaining the website, the staff members, everything is paid from the NPTEL's main project of the uh, MHRD sanction and so on. Therefore, financially, it's a bit tight. We are running as tightly as we can, keeping the fees as low as possible. Somewhere around 1,000, 600 or even 800 rupees, isn't it? It's about 1,000 rupees. It's about 1,000 rupees. This is the minimum we could do for the numbers of students that we have who register at the end of the uh, process for the final examination. So please keep that in mind. I mean, if Arisant or any other company is more than willing to give CSR, 
they want to keep a penny here in the IIT Madras. No. I think it will be distributed back to the institutions. It will be given back to the, I mean, fed back to the centers for the, the, the study center, the NPTEL local chapters, and also to the students directly. So that's not the issue. Right now, we are on a watertight uh, financial model. And the next phase has been sanctioned, but we still haven't got the money. Still, there is no money for the examination. Examination have to be still, proctored examination still have to be run only by this body with collecting fees from the students. So this I wanted to keep uh, everybody aware of. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Agalia, representing Srivastri College, Erod. First, I would like to place my appreciation. First one is, we always have a myth, and it is a proven record that all the brainy persons are in IITs. Thank God that it is being extended to arts and science also through the courses NPTEL. And the other one is, the appreciation is for when the government is not providing any BC scholarship, the NPTEL has uh, given scholarship for the students, so they were very happy that uh, they started enrolling. And the other one is, uh, the thing is, usually they will be sitting in the classes and watching to the, all the classes and listening to the lessons. Thank God they had the video classes. So they were very happy to watch the videos. They were ready to take the uh, assignments also. Uh, facing one problem is that in uploading the assignments or the difficulties, particularly when talking about the practical English, we were very happy with uh, the assignments. And we were able to do it. They had a special, uh, they had a, a notebook to make every assignment get into thing. But the matter is that they couldn't upload it. The formality given by the professor is, uh, highly difficult, let me say, because this is an enhanced learning, technology using. And uh, after talking about NPTEL in our college, we had been a brand ambassador of IIT and NPTEL, and we have introduced in such a way, we would have done this for our college, then our admission would have been more in that way. And uh, what they had is, they were very happy to get into, because we are talking, it is a certification from IIT. So they are all very happy to enroll it. But these, all these process of getting into it and doing the things, they faced very difficult. It was merely a three to four hours of process of getting into one assignment, and they, they got fed up. That is the thing. Still, they have all the assignments in, in their notebook. That is the process. So they have learned, and they have got into certification. These kind of a things, when, they, when we are extending into arts and science colleges, it has to be also taken into consideration, so that uh, more number of uh, students will be using this uh, NPTEL as a very good source. And thank you for the opportunity.